welcome all uh, today we will be discussing uh, an example uh, or we will be writing an application with uh, two different classes by using uh, command prompt uh, mode so as usual uh, what we will do is uh, we will open up a notepad and uh, using this notepad what we try to do is uh, we try to uh, try to uh, write uh, two classes over here so here first we will start with the room class so well in which I declare two variables of length and then again I'll declare one more variable called as breadth so now I'll write one more method over here this method does not return any return type so thereby I write this void here the method name that I use is get data for which I'll be passing the two arguments over here that is float of a comma float of b so again I'll open up the uh, braces here I'll assign length is equal to that is a is assigned to length and at the same time b is assigned to breadth and after that I'll close this braces and I'll close this braces so this is one class now what I what, what I'll do is I'll uh, start writing the main class that is let me uh, name this as room area now here I'll be using uh, public static void main and by this time uh, by seeing looking into the uh, previous videos uh, you'll be knowing like what does this uh, public static void main uh, string ARGS stands for so we'll close that uh, braces and then we'll again open the uh, braces over here I'll create one more variable called as area and here I have to create an object so here you can see that I'll be writing this room room1 is equal to new followed by room so and after that I'll put the semicolon over here here there are a uh, few things that we need to understand over here this room is the class name of this room so therefore both should be the same and this room one is an object dynamically you will create by using a method over there that is a room function or class uh, member function member function so here what you need to do is this is a syntax of declaring uh, an object of a class uh, of a user defined one so how do you define class name followed by object name dynamically what is called as uh, the class uh, function so by, th by writing uh, the statement like this you will create an object called as room one now what, what we need to do is we need to again start with uh, what is called as room1 room1 dot I'll say get data and here I'll be passing two parameters called as 14 comma 10 so you can see that there are few things that we need to understand here whenever we need to call a particular method the syntax that is followed is object name dot method name followed by arguments over there so here the object that we have created is room1 dot the method that what we have created is get data and the arguments that we are passing is 14 and 10 now what I will do I will compute the result over here I will get the values over here and I will assign area is equal to object name dot length plus again object name dot again the variable name that is called as the breadth so here there are few things that we need to understand uh, area is computed like this that is what is the object that we have created that is room1 dot what is the uh, variables that we have used in this particular room class so that is length so I need to uh, specify that over here and again object name dot the variable name 
that is the breadth over here. So I'll get those two values and assign it to what is called as area. Uh, sorry, here what we need to do is we need to area is length into breadth. So therefore I'll be putting a star over there. So after that, what I'll do, I have to display the area of uh, area of the uh, as the result. So therefore again I'll be writing system dot out dot println. So here what I'll say area is equal to after that I'll close the uh, level quotes over here. Here there is a special thing that we need to uh, understand. This displayed data has to be concatenated with the area computed that is area and after that I'll close the braces over them I in brackets over there and put a semicolon now select semicolon over there and after that I will close the braces over here and again I close the braces over here now what I need to do is I need to save this particular file so I will be saving this particular file in uh, what is called as a D drive so D drive I will get into Java and again I will get into uh, JDK JDK again I will get into Ben and then here I'll be giving the uh, file name as room area dot Java. You can see that the name of the file over here, this this one, means to say whichever the class has PSVM, we need to save that particular file in that particular class name. So here we have defined this room area as one class, that is the main class. And this room as another class so thereby we are having two classes over here and after that we'll save this particular file in pin folder now what I need to do I need to get into the command prompt so when I get into the uh, command prompt again uh, I have saved the file in uh, D drive so therefore what I need to do is I need to get into what is called as D drive folder so in order to get into the D drive folder what I have to do as usual, uh, you know, we have to press C uh, colon and after that this C Java slash again JDK 1.5.0 underscore 11 slash bin and then enter. Now you can see that uh, the file that I have saved is over here. So what is the file name that we have? We have something called as room area. So here you can see that the file is over here. That is room area dot Java. I'll be using Java C to compile. That is Java C room area room area dot Java. And after that, I'll press enter. So if there are no errors, you will get into the next line without any uh, errors being displayed. Now the class file is created. Now what I'll do, I'll be use this Java to run the program. So again, you need to see that. Uh, the class name over here should be the same as the class name over here and here you write the capital letter and if you write over here a small uh, r then you will not get the output at the, the same way the reverse is also true here you don't write and here you include the uh, capital letter then also the program will not work it will give a runtime error so when i say java room area without the extension enter you will get the area as 140 this is a, what you will do is you will execute the programs by using Java. I mean by using uh, Java in uh, command line arguments. And here we have seen that how uh, two classes can be written and how it can be executed. Thank you.